Hey guys, so I thought I would show you today how to look up the status of your workers' comp case. This only works if the case is already filed over at the commission, but that's pretty easy to do. And usually I file cases right away. Um, if you've gone to the commission and filed one, or if the company did itself, which is rare, or um, if you had a lawyer who did it, you might want to know how to look it up. So. You want to go uh, to Google and just type in IWCC for Illinois Workers Comp uh, Illinois Workers Comp uh, You're seeing what a bad typist I am. Commission. So this is what you want to type in. Illinois Workers Compensation Commission. Hit enter and obviously you get attorney's ads, right? But you get all these ads that aren't me, and then you go to this one that says Illinois.gov, right? So you click it, and you get this uh, screen, and it's a little confusing because you got all this stuff, right? So um, this is what you want here, IWCC case status information. And so you can see that the URL or the web address is complicated. That's why I always tell people just go into Google and type in Illinois Workers' Compensation Commission. And if you do that, this will be always on the first page. But, you know, you're going to have to navigate uh, 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 in front of some lawyer ads, which lawyer ads aren't going to do you any good if you're looking to look up your case. So you click this IWCC case status information and then you click now there's a user manual here that'll tell you how to do basic stuff so if you click there um, it actually downloads the user manual in PDF format and then you can you know scroll through it right and it's you know it literally shows you how to do everything so it is only a let's see it is an eight page document total right so if we see it's only eight pages total and it tells you how to do everything so it's probably worthwhile for you to download this uh, this document but you do that here and then for and then to actually look your case up you click case information screen right so if you know your case number you type it in there so let's say it's 18 WC um, So I just made up that number and see when you when you enter the 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 18 WC and then the number and hit enter on your keyboard it tells you who the employer is it tells you where which commission it's being heard at it's in Chicago uh, no arbitrator yet the body part that was heard is the head that's what is on the documents right the gives you the address the date of the accident the date the case was filed tells you who the employee's attorney is, right? Tells you who the employer's attorney and the status, right? So this one's settled because it says settlement contracts approved and it was settled on 5-11-18. So that's a, a lot of good information for you, right? But what if you want to look up, you, what if you don't know your case number and you want to look up your case by the name, right? So you click that one and then you go here and there's a little clue here about what you should be doing here so you put in your last name let's say uh, Rodriguez um, John now that's a super common name so we're probably gonna get a bunch of, of answers here but if you hit enter wow look at all those John Rodriguez's right so here you can just see like, uh, do you work for this sheet metal company? Do you work for Chicago Public Schools? Do you work for J.B. Hunt? That's an easy way for you to just kind of see which one of these applies to you, right? And then once you know the I IWCC number, you know, you can write it down on a piece of paper. So let's look this one up. Uh, it's 00WC... Well, that's an old one. Let's let's pick a newer one. Um, if you hit enter, it gives you uh, 
another screen and another screen and another screen and another screen. Let's see if we can find a recent one. A lot of old ones. A lot of old ones. All right, so let's pick this one, Jonathan Rodriguez, okay? And it uh, and so the the number that we're looking for is this. It's 15 WC 028351. Now that I've gotten that written down, I can click return over here and then I can put the case number in, right? So I can go back to uh, our main screen where you just do it by, you just look it up by the number. So our number was 15, 0, 2, 8, 3, 5, 1. And hit enter on your keyboard, and here's the case, right? So. Uh, Jonathan Rodriguez, DPI Specialty Foods. It's here in Chicago. This is the accident date. This is the date it was filed. Um, it's uh, this, this arbitrator, Jeffrey Hoopsch. Um, lower upper extremity on the right, so that means the right and left arm. Here's the employee's attorney. Here is the employer's attorney. And the status is continued at arbitration. So that means the case is still pending. It hasn't been settled like the other one we've talked to, uh, talked about, right? So there's other stuff you can do by clicking these buttons, and you can learn how to use that using the uh, information sheet. But I just wanted to share with you that there is a way for you to look your case up and see whether it's been settled or whether it's still continuing. Look up the employee's attorney, the employer's attorney, and all that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. And uh, have a great day. Take care.